it's the problem it really is clear in that unfortunately the no it's all good you're welcome to talk i'm happy to have someone chatting um like the problem is very clear in that it they they've gone from a game company to a multimedia company and the games are just there to facilitate uh all the other forms of media and so the anime is actually legitimately good usually aside from the classic uh forgetful hero syndrome but as a result of that of needing to get a new game out every year or two and be able to get all the other media out on time as well the games have suffered a bit for it like i when i first saw the uh animation choices for sun and moon i was really thrown off but after actually watching them uh it was actually pretty good but then it led to my most annoying part about the next series where ash went from being you know the most powerful trainer in alola defeating an island guardian at full power to forgetting how to catch a pokemon in the next series again I have to decide. I could go for the Treasure Eatery in Medali, but Casper's Kofu Lounge also sounds good. Should we call a flying taxi? I'm headed out to catch Pokemon later, so I want to eat something that will give me catching power. There's always going to be plenty to explore in a new city. I went to make a sandwich, but I'd run clean out of a pix, would you believe it? I go film so fast, I'd better buy them in bulk from now on. And here I am, not making sandwiches at all. I mean, yeah, okay, so I may be misremembering this because it was like 25 years ago now. I thought the cutoff was between Gen 1 and Gen 2 because they didn't have that functionality at that point and they added so many things in Gen 2 that just wouldn't transfer over properly to Gen 1. But I could be entirely misremembering that. As I said, I skipped Generation 2 until Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh yeah, like, I've been playing Pokemon since I was a little kid as well, and I plan to keep playing, as long as they actually make decent games. But... Uh... Yeah, what am I trying to say? Uh... I've lost it, unfortunately. Sorry. Maybe it'll come back to me as I'm exploring this city. ATMs in the big city. I may have to run a bit late tonight because I would like to take on this game. Erna's super cute, isn't she? She's the most popular streamer around, hands down. Ah, Rose female. You see the latest episode of Iona's Zone? That collab with Tulip was great. But yeah, like, 
just like you, I don't see myself ever stopping playing Pokemon or Pokemon-like games or video games in general. Because, like, despite what people like, uh, people try and say about them, video games are amazing for everyone. This is Aaron's gym. I've seen it in a video so many times. I can't believe I'm actually here. Well, you are. And I've only explored half of this place. Goddamn. But, yeah, like, I don't ever expect that I won't be playing video games because they're fun for me. I enjoy them. It may be games that I grow out of. For a while before I actually played Sword and Shield, I thought that I'd grown past Pokemon. But after Sun and Moon. But Sword and Shield uh, reinvigorated it for me. I don't have a Pokemon that I can ride on water. I don't want to meet some lovely sea Pokemon. If you have a pin church and would you be willing to trade it for my Haunter? Maybe, but I need to uh, see if I have a Haunter. Because that Haunter will become a Gengar, which is worth it. I have a Ghastly, I don't have a Haunter. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, where is the pin church in there? And while I'm looking at that... Uh... Where are you? I know I have a pin church. There you are. You're okay with trading that pin church in? Yes. So yeah, like... You're right that, like, trends change, people's sports change. How long did we have uh, between the 80s when D&D was big until now when d and is getting big again? But on the other side of that, if we look at technology in general, Hauntikins, I'm happy to keep that name. Especially because it's about to evolve. Haunter, the gas Pokemon. In total darkness, where nothing is visible, Haunter lurks, silently stalking its next victim. That is terrifying. So we get a Haunter, and it should now evolve. Congratulations! Hiding in people's shadows at night absorbs their heat. The chill it causes makes the victim shake. God, that original ghost line is terrifying. Oh my, my darling Hauntikins evolved into Gengar. I heard rumors about Pokemon that evolve when they're traded. But yeah, uh, so what I was trying, what I was uh, getting to is uh, right over the water, I'm gonna wait till that Pokemon's flying right over the ocean and snap! Is uh, like I work in tech, right? I'm a uh, software developer, web development in particular. Uh, but I've worked all across IT support and all that over the years. The amount of uh, people that I've seen, like, if I go two generations back, they're basically tech illiterate. If I go one generation back, they can do the basics. My mother's decent at tech. 
my generation, pretty damn good. The generation after mine, back to not being able to use proper technology because they've grown up using tablets only. And the same thing can happen with video games where we've gone from, you know, we've gone from tabletop to video games, to console games, to PC games, to mobile games. And we're back in a realm where there's lots of gamers out there, but most of those gamers are mobile games. And so these, and so more and more games are transitioning towards the free to play mobile space than to the, uh, Big development time console space. Live streaming, huh? Live stream Pokemon battles can be fun to watch. I want to see them in person too. Don't worry, you'll get to see one soon enough. Provided I ever finished exploring. Everything in Shield Slim Traditional and Makeup is so lovely and spoiled for choice. Rhyme's new track just dropped. I gotta check it out ASAP. Apparently, all five of these buildings are owned by a real estate firm called Powder Air Realty. These skycrest scrapers are crazy tall. My neck hurts just trying to take them all in. I mean, the Wii was such a huge commercial success because it was so easy to get into, it was so cheap, and a bundled Wii Sport was a great way to get people in the game. Where did the name Levincha come from? Is it from that old word Levin for Leviathan? Or maybe because the city has all these soaring buildings and it's a million volt skyline? Could it be from Levin, like, you know, Rising Bread? Yeah, the problem with the free-to-play games, and, you know, I am 100% a uh, self-serving victim of this, because I play way too many of them myself, is uh, that they're loaded with microtransactions. And so you think, oh, you know, it's just $5, I'm just using it, paying it this once to make my life a little bit easier right now for playing them. And then it happens over and over, and suddenly you spent a thousand bucks on a free-to-play game. If you had a Pokemon, you could ride over water. You could leap into the ocean without a care. The Vinci has started as a port town that shipped ore from the mines to various other places. It's hard to believe that Humble Port went on to become the high-flying business hub it is today. I mean, actually, speaking of Pokemon Go, like that is one of those uh, free-to-play games that I do play. Uh, right now I'm giving it a little bit of a boycott because of some recent changes. Uh, but, like, they recently, uh, upped the price of, uh, their... My idol! I talked to the Magnemite, didn't I? My idol! He's on the neon signs! He pops up on one screen, then the next, then another? Oh, Crassius, I'm your biggest fan! Like, I, I used it as a reason to get back into walking and to get some exercise and help me out there. And it really did work. Like, it was a really good reason to do so. It was a good point. But, and I don't spend much money on it. But then they have been doing things like, they just recently in, said they were going to increase the price of the remote raid passes, which is the only way rural players like myself can really do raid. And they're increasing it by almost double. And they're also limiting how many you can use a day. So it's really just a big screw you to uh, rural players while 
also bringing in more money for me. Eventually it feels nice and safe thanks to all the security cameras around the place. I hear the footage they captured is used for the gym tent. I see that down there. Look! Boats! There's boats and stuff down there. Wish you could sail to the bottom of the sea. And it's just an electric train. I've already got one. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon Go is good for getting all those event Pokemon that you can't get elsewhere. And it's also just a fun experience to, you know, go out and catch things in the real world. And they were doing really well, but then they've just kept doing things to, you know, increase the money they make while uh, making it only really useful for their core player base that they're aiming at, which is the city players. And they can get away with that because it's free to play. So really, they're just increasing their microtransactions. They're not directly increasing the cost of play or anything like that. So they can say that they're still free to play. They're still friendly to everyone, yada, yada, yada. But they're not. I like photos of scenic places as much as anyone. But the most memorable photos for me are always ones of people or Pokemon. Yeah, the uh, uh, as I was saying earlier, that's one of the things that I really liked about uh, Oras was how I could just go get all those legendary Pokemon. If you climb the lighthouse up ahead, you'll get a great view of the whole city of Levincia. I'm just about done exploring and talking. I heard the Academy has mountains of books. When I start studying them, I'm going to read every single issue of our culture. I've done that. Looks like I already have this flying one unlocked, which is nice. Oh, oh. I watched the gym's live stream of a trainer named Nimona. Her Pokemon were awesome. There's Nimona. Munch, munch. I heard the Adventure Gym live streams gym tests of all its challenges. One day when I'm all grown up and rich, I'll say to the shopman, I'll take the lot. Uh, we'd all love that, wouldn't we? Changing up your look also changes up your whole mood. Your day can go all sorts of ways depending on the clothes you wear. See, I don't mind spending the money because like, I, to me, it's like five, ten bucks here and there every couple of months when a big event is on and I need raid pass. That's totally fine for me. I don't mind doing that. I can afford that. For me, it was 100% the fact that they just decided they were going to Double, not only double the price, but also limit the number that you can do per day, meaning that if you didn't have somewhere where you can do reliable in-person raids, you're just out of luck. That legendary that you want to get, you're probably not getting it. Oh, you actually managed to catch it? Well, it's probably got mediocre stats, and the chance of you getting ones with good stats or with the shiny, Basically silch. Yeah, but I do go outside to do it. I don't use the raid passes because I don't want to go outside. I use the raid passes because I live in a rural area that doesn't have uh, anyone to actually play with. 